surprise. <laughs> Attack! Tenacity. I gotta admit, I, I wouldn't come to say hi if I wasn't getting paid a bump. A nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. You know me. I'm real surprised when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out. Fuck yourself. I know how you work. You'll kill her too. Whatever it is. I'm hurt, Roy. Really? I'm hurt. I thought we were friends. I'm too old for this business. You've known me for ages. Why'd you accept this job? You know me too. I'm not the kind to do something for sentimental reasons. I was always a bastard. 
Just ask Charity. I must have had an unhappy childhood. But I'm always practical, and I don't feel like dying just yet. I broke that contract, and even if you decided not to kill me, I would still be in shit. You got yourself in it on your own. It's true. Listen, I think the only way I can get out of this is by working for you. What do you say? You know I'm good. You really think that after what you just did, I'm gonna hire you? Without mentioning how you're a turncoat? Keep dreaming. But you know I won't have a choice anyway. I'll have to stick to you like glue and take part in the fight. No, it's up to you, of course. He's pretty disgusting and doesn't seem very honest. But I like the way he speaks. He says funny things. Listen to the chick. She walks around half naked and it's like there's a meltdown going on between her ears. You already got a nutcase with you. Why not a bastard? All right, but I don't really know why I'm doing this. Maybe because I don't want to become a bastard like you. But I swear, if you betray me, you're a dead man. You're really a great guy, Roy. Gotta say. Let me get my shit together and I'm all yours. Well, you don't pull any punches, that's for sure. And I figured I was a bastard. Maybe I'm not the only one. That a problem? For me, absolutely not. It's just I didn't think you were like that, that's all. Anyway, if you didn't kill people, I'd probably be tempted to do it myself. Not so much for the serum, then again. So we don't leave some son of a bitch behind who can fuck us over in the name of something as stupid as revenge. I need your help. No way, I'm with you. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? Come with me. I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. And I knew that scumbag when I was a kid. He always was a snake. Anyway, thanks. Thanks a lot. I wasn't about to lose my best source of information. Don't be so cynical. You're a good man, Roy. I got nothing on me right now, but drop by my place. I'll give you something. Yeah, all right. I'll drop by.
Croy. You shouldn't let your friend walk around dressed like that. She sticks out a mile. Don't be angry with him, madam. I wanted to remain like this. Cute, but not all there, huh? What do you two want? You said to drop by. You'd give me something. That's true. Knowing that son of a bitch tenacity, I'd still be there. Here, hope you like it. Listen, while we're on the subject, the kid, Innocence, came by while I was... out. He told the bouncer the Resistance is getting a major strike ready on a train. He'll want you with him. It's a Technomancer convoy, if I understood right. You should maybe find out some more. It could be dangerous. <laughs> 